Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, Devi lent money at compound interest for two years at 20 percentage per annum. Savitha lent the same sum of money at same rate but the interest was payable half yearly. If Savitha got rupees 482 more, find the sum. So what is the given question? A particular sum is lent by both Devi and Savitha. And both are lending at compound interest. The time period is also same, two years. And the interest is also same, 20 percentage per annum. But what is the difference? Devi is lending money at compound interest per annum. But Savitha is lending money so that the interest was payable half yearly. So Savitha is getting rupees 482 more. Then you have to find the sum. So just you have to write down the equations for both. In the first case, what is the compound interest for Devi? The compound interest formula is equal to amount minus principal. What is the formula for amount? Amount is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100, the whole raise to T minus P. This is the formula. And what is R? R is equal to 20 percentage and T is equal to 2. Now what will be the compound interest for Savida? In Savida's case, the interest was payable half yearly. So there is a change in the formula. It will be equal to, the amount will be equal to P into 1 plus. Since it is payable half yearly, the formula will become equal to R by 2 by 100, the whole raised to 2T minus P. So this is the formula when the interest is payable half yearly or when the question is compounded half yearly. In two ways it can be asked. The interest is payable half yearly or compounded half yearly. Suppose the question is compounded quarterly or the interest is payable quarterly means how the formula will change. The formula will become equal to P into 1 plus R by 4 by 100 raised to 4T minus P. So likewise it will go on changing. And every 3 months it is compounded means P into 1 plus R by 3 by 100 raised to 3t minus p. So likewise it goes on. So now just you have to find out the difference between these two and that difference is equal to 482. The difference between the compound interest is equal to 482. So just write down the formula. So here what will happen? Here it will be equal to p into 1 plus r by 2. r is equal to 20. So r by 2, 2 is equal to 10. So 10 by 100 raised to 2 into 2 which gives you 4 minus P into 1 plus 20 by 100, the whole square is equal to 482. When you are taking the difference, this P and this P will be getting cancelled. So, you will be getting P into 1 plus 10 by 100, the whole raised to 4, minus P into 1 plus 20 by 100, the whole square is equal to 482. So, what you will be getting here? So, P into 100 plus 10 is equal to 110. So, 110 by 100, the whole raised to 4. So 110 raised to 4 you will be getting, no sorry, uh, sorry here you can cancel out 10 and 100. So you will be getting 1 plus 1 by 10 which gives you 10 plus 1 by 10. That means 11 by 10 the whole raised to 4. Okay, this will be equal to 11 by 10 the whole raised to 4. You know 11 cube is equal to 1, 3, 3, 1. 11 square is equal to 1, 2, 1. And your 11 cube is equal to 1, 3, 3, 1. 11 raised to 4 is equal to 1, 3, 3, 1 into 11 which gives you 1. 4, 6, 4, 1 divided by 10 raised to 4 you can easily write it will be having 4 zeros minus p into here it will be 1 by 5 so 1 plus 1 by 5 which gives you 6 by 5 so 6 by 5 the whole square which gives you 36 by 25 is equal to 482 so you can take the common denominator here so obviously 10,000 will be your LCM so it will be equal to P into 14,641 minus 36 into 400. 25 into 400 is equal to 10,000. 25 into 4 is equal to 100. So 25 into 40 will be 1,000. So 25 into 400 will be 10,000. So you have to multiply 36 also with 400. So 14,641 minus 36 into 400 will give you 482. So 14,641 minus 36 into 400 is 14,400. So your final answer will be P into 241 
divided by 10,000 is equal to 482. So it is 241 into 2 is equal to 482 which gives you P is equal to 20,000. So it's, it's just about writing the equations correctly, substituting, finding the difference and solving the equation. So this equation is very very important when the interest is compounded half a year this equation is very very important when the interest is compounded half yearly the formula becomes equal to compound interest is equal to amount minus principal where amount is equal to p into 1 plus r by 2 divided by 100 the whole raised to 2t so here the answer is 20,000 20,000 will be your principal. Okay, our second question is, Preeti invested a sum of rupees 8,000 at 15% per annum for 2 years, 4 months compounded annually. Find the compound interest. So, you know compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. Here principal is already given or sum is given, it is 8,000 and your rate of interest is given which is equal to 15% per annum and your time is equal to 2 years and 4 months. So, here since a whole number is not coming, you have to find out the compound interest separately for 2 years and 4 months also you have to do it separately. So, your formula will become a little different. Okay, I will show you how. Your amount is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 the whole raised to T. This is a formula for amount. So, what is your, you are substituting here. So, 8000 into 1 plus 15 by 100 the whole square for 2 years. Next for 4 months alone you have to write again the expression. So, 1 plus for one, 4 months means how many years? 4 months divided by 12 will be giving you 1 by 3 year. So, 4 months is equal to 1 by 3 year. So, for 1 by 3 year what is the interest? For 1 by 3 year interest will be equal to 15 by 3 which gives you 5. So, 15 by 3 divided by 100. Okay. So, 2 years. So, this is not a whole number. Okay. If you are writing here 1 plus 15 by 100 the whole cube or 15 by 100 raised to 2 raised to 1 by 3 likewise you cannot write. You have to split up the formula like this 8000 into 1 plus 15 by 100 the whole square which represents the interest for 2 years and for 4 months you have to again use a factor separately for 4 months alone. So, for 4 months alone your interest will be equal to 15 by 3. Your R will become 15 by 3. So, you have to write a formula corresponding to it. So, what you will be getting finally? Your uh, 1 plus 15 by 100 will be 115 by 100 which gives you 23 by 20 into 23 by 20 and you are 1 plus 5 by 100. 15 by 3 is equal to 5. So, 1 plus 5 by 100 will be 105 by 100 which is equal to 21 by 20. So, this everything will be getting cancelled. 2 into 2 into 2 will be 8 and 3 0. So, 20 into 20 into 20 will be 8000. So, your answer will be equal to 23 into. So, your answer will be 23 into 23 into 21 which gives you 11,109. So, what is your principal? Your principal is equal to 8000 and your amount is equal to 11,109. So, your compound interest is equal to 11,109 minus 8,000 which gives you 3,109. So, that will be your compound interest. So, here the important thing is the split, splitting up of this formula. So, if you understand this, you can apply it in different questions and you can find out the answer correctly. Thank you for watching.